Quite a few people have asked me to make a video where I create a cinematic trailer style track from scratch. So this is what I'm going to do in this video. And to create this track, I will mainly be using Arcade by Output. So thanks a lot to Output for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to use Arcade. And if you like what you see and if you want to try Arcade yourself, you can get a free 30 day trial and 50% off your first paid month with the link in the description. So I first I will briefly go over what Arcade is and the basic functionalities and then I will go over the trailer structure that most trailer tracks follow and then we will start creating our track. Arcade can be seen as a sampler where new sounds are added every week. The main structure is this, that you have these lines which are essentially collections of different sounds that follow a certain topic. So for instance this line here will have uh, orchestral sounds and this one here will have sounds that sound a bit more scary and are meant to be used for horror or creepy kind of stuff. This line will have uh, cinematic trailer sounds. So all of these follow a certain topic and you will find similar sounds or sounds that follow this certain topic within them. And if you go into one of these lines, then you will see that they consist of samplers, instrument and samples. So these samplers down here, they are again, smaller collections of sounds. So these are the white keys on your keyboard and each of these is a different sound. So with this one sampler here, you can play all of these different sounds and also modify them with the different functionalities here. The instruments on the other hand are playable instruments, so you get sounds that are playable over a few octaves. And with the samples, you just get the individual samples that are used within the samplers and the instruments. And you can also use these to create your own sound kits, essentially. So you can just generate a sampler here. And then you can use this one sound to create your own kit and use all the effects within Arcade. And you can also do the same with your own sound. So you can just import your own samples in there and then process them with all the effects and the functionalities that they have. So what I've done so far, I've gone through a few of these lines and uh, previewed them and also previewed a few in individual samplers and instruments. And I've downloaded quite a few of them, but we will see how many of the sounds we're going to use and if we just download new ones while creating the track. So now let's quickly go over the basic trailer structure that a lot of trailer tracks follow. Typically you will have three acts in a trailer track. So act one can also be seen as the intro or the beginning. This part is mainly to set the tone of the trailer or the tone of the track. Usually you won't give too much away. You will introduce maybe a signature sound. It will be very atmospheric. There will be some booms, but essentially you don't want to give too much away. You just want to hint at what's to come in the other two acts. Essentially. Then Act 2 can also be seen as the build-up and this is where you usually will start picking up a bit of pace. You will probably introduce more percussive elements and you will use risers and just adding more elements to build up and build up and build up even more. So obviously this is the part before the climax. You will very often have a very intense build-up but you still need to leave enough room for the climax to kind of be even more intense than the build-up. So and then with the climax again this will essentially be an extension of the buildup that's more intense and more impactful and with probably even more elements added and essentially if you think of this as a waveform this will be the loudest part of the track and sometimes you will also have a second climax which will typically be a bit shorter than the first one but even more intense so typically with more hits more hit points for the editors to work with and then as the outro you will very often just have a boom and the signature sound on top of it so again this is just a very rough overview of the typical structure and this might sound simple but it's actually really difficult to create a full-fledged licensable trailer track that's why i say that i'm going to create a trailer style track but i'm not going to claim that the track that i'm going to create is going to be a completely finished trailer track with all the necessary elements, with the perfect arrangement and all the little details that are needed to create a really good trailer track. But with that being said, let's just start building a track from scratch. So I will start by creating the first act or the intro. And so we can get rid of all these tracks here. And I'm going to start by looking for a boom sound. So I'm just going to go to this line here, the inner world one, which is for cinematic sounds. And then I'm just going to look for, and I can filter here for impacts and just listen through these and see if there is something that I might want to use for this. Yeah, this sounds what I'm kind of what I'm looking for. So let's see, I'm just going to create a MIDI clip here and let's see how long we are going to make this. But now I have to choose one of these sounds.
I think this one could work. I'm just going to do a bit of processing on this. Increase the reverb a bit. Quite a bit of decay because currently I'm planning to repeat it like that. And I want it to decay roughly until the next hit starts. And then I'm also going to probably just filter this a bit. We can also just duplicate this. So this is typically how I like to work, just duplicating your tracks and looking for the new sounds. That's a pretty nice, very fast workflow. You can just start browsing through the next samples that you need. So the next thing I'm looking for is uh, typically a signature sound. You want to introduce something that catches the attention of the listener and that can also reoccur later in the track again. And I'm just going to go to a different line that I've already downloaded. This Obsidian one had some really interesting sounds and I want something maybe organic and tonal as well. And I'm just gonna listen through a few of these and see if something interesting comes up. This sounds really good, so I'm just gonna load this sampler. Yeah, this one's really good. I just want the beginning of this though. I'll also give it a bit more reverb. And it's a bit too in your face for the intro, so I just want to tame it a bit. Okay, I think this could work. So I'm just gonna play this with every boom here. Then let's just duplicate this. And now I'm looking for some kind of drone or ambience. And I've kind of been thinking of strings for this. So for this, I'm gonna go into this line here. And I think I don't need a sample for this. I just, I, I can just use one of these samples here. Maybe try violin. And now I'm just gonna listen through a few of these samples until I find something that I like. So I have found something that I liked. I'm just gonna generate a sampler here. Actually, I think I'm gonna play multiple notes here and I'm gonna pitch everything down as much as I can. So um, this entire thing is pitched down and I'm also gonna just pitch this particular note down. I'm just gonna make it longer as well so it doesn't loop too often. And I don't really need a distortion for this. And I wanna filter quite a bit of the high end here. And we can also add a bit of reverb to this. All right, so let's see how this sounds. So I think I also want to have a second atmosphere here that comes in a bit later because we need to keep introducing new elements a bit. And yeah, let's just see what comes up here with the same filters. Yeah, let's just say this one. Yeah, I want some reverb on this and I don't really need distortion. And we can also just filter this particular sound. And we definitely also need quite a few risers here. Um, so I'm just gonna copy this first one. I'm probably gonna find risers within this inner word line. So I'm just gonna filter for riser here. Let's see how long we can make this. I want it to be a bit more tame. Maybe let's just grab this filter here, map this to the second LFO, and also change this to this curve. And what I typically also like to do is to add a second riser. Typically, I like to use some weirder sounds. Filter for percussives here. You can also filter for organic again. So I'm just gonna listen through a few of these. So I have found this one here. So I'm mainly interested in stuff like this. So let's see what I can get out of these. So I just want to add some more reverb for this. Yeah, and again, it's a bit too upfront, so I just want to filter this. Yeah, 
And I think this is a bit too long. Remove this and just make everything shorter here. Just introduce something new maybe around here before the first riser starts. And so I think I want some kind of hit here. Maybe we can just go into this pack again and just look for impact. I need a bit of a softer hit that doesn't have that much attack and is a bit more distant sounding. This one could work. Make this a bit longer. Yeah, I think we can start with this and start building our act two now. And I think what I want is I can use or reuse these two risers here. I also want to keep these percussion sounds. So let's just copy them here. And maybe we can also use some other hit or sound that we have already. Sounds kind of interesting. We just slow pass this. It's a bit too upfront. And then I definitely want some kind of riser that goes throughout the entire buildup. So let's just duplicate this here. And I kind of think I want to go for an instrument because then we have more flexibility with the pitch bends. Just grab one of the instruments here. This one could work. Maybe also introduce some dissonance here. In this case, I'm just going to use the EQ8 in Ableton and draw in the automation like this. I also want to kind of keep using this signature sound here or something similar. So I'm just going to duplicate this and drag this over here. Yeah, maybe the sound, but I want to make it a bit more aggressive. We also need to kind of do the same as with the riser down here. Just use a low pass filter here. And then oh, we also have this percussion hit here. We can use this the same way maybe. We have this weird little shape going on here. And I want to add some more sounds like this. And let's just look for another sound. So I'm just going to listen through a few of these and see if I find something inspiring. Oh, we have a reversed sound here. Maybe we can use this to lead into this section. We can copy this over here as well. And then I kind of want to emphasize first hits here. Let's just duplicate this again. Look for something like, you know, just a kick sound would do, I guess. Just for percussion and organic as well. So just pitch this down and then we can also add maybe some more distortion here. Make sure that the reverb is after the distortion. And I also want to introduce something a bit more aggressive in the second half. Like this, so kind of a Brahm sound. Maybe we are going to put this on the first ones here. Again, something playable would be good, I think. I guess we are looking for the Brahm sounds here. So maybe go through the instruments there. Just beef this up a bit and distort it more. Also play it lower and I think there is a weird layer here.
And I also want to support this sound a bit. So I'm going to look for a hit for this one. Maybe stay in this one. And I'm just going to look for impact. the boom again at the end here yeah I think we need to dial this one back a bit Alright, so let's leave this like that for now, and then we can continue with the climax. Before I continue with the climax, I just want to do some quick processing on the group. So let's just add an EQ and a compressor and a limiter here. Just to get a bit of a more realistic picture, what it sounds like if it's a bit louder and actually pushed a bit into a limiter. All right, so currently we have this boom here. As the transition, but I want to add another transitional element, something like a whoosh or a downer. So I'm just gonna copy this one. So let's just search for drop here. Drop zone sounds good. This sounds like what we were looking for. Sounds interesting. I want to make the climax the same length as the buildup, and I think I can copy some elements here. So let's just grab the risers that we have and copy them over. Maybe make this one just longer. I also want to keep these RAM elements that we have in the buildup, just arrange them maybe in a different way. And now I want to add some element that drives the entire thing a bit more. So I'm thinking of something like a kick drum, similar to what we did here, but I want a bit of a tighter and punchier kick. So I'm just going to copy this here. In this case, I'm just going to search for a kick sample. And I'm just going to listen to a few of these until I find one that I like. So I found a kick that could work for this. I'm probably just going to filter this a bit. And maybe just pitch it down a bit. And I want this to be really short. And now let's see what kind of pattern we like for this, but it's pretty much going to be straight throughout and then we just want to speed it up a bit towards the end. I'm just going to EQ this a bit more. Yeah, we can always change this up later, but for now I'm going to leave it like this. And I also want to add some trailer hits for this, so I'm just going to use my own hits. This one could be good. And yeah, and then let's just use these two here and see if maybe we can do something interesting with those as well. And then I want to add more percussive elements, again, just to drive things a bit more. And I've been thinking of this typical clock TikTok sound. So I'm just looking for something like this now. Just gonna duplicate this track. So now I'm just looking for a percussion. And I guess we can also use the term organic and maybe beat element here. And well, I'm just gonna listen for a few of these and see if I find something interesting. Actually, can we use these beatbox samples for this? Let's just remove the stereo delay here and also filter these a bit. Maybe we can also reuse some of the weird percussion that we had in the buildup. And let's just introduce it in the second half of this.
We can try to add another riser. So I think I'm probably going to find something in here. Let's just filter for riser. Just in the second half of this. We can also try just using the same filter on this one. And then I also want maybe one more kind of distorted element, something like a Brahm again. So I'm just going to duplicate this one and maybe we can find a good label sound here. So let's just look for the instruments. Maybe this sounds good when it's played really low. And let's add a pitch bend. And I want to try what this sounds like if I distort it. Let's have this in just to support this lower layer here. And let's just have a listen to what we have so far for the climax and then we will see how we can continue. Yeah, so I think I want to add a short second climax here. So I'm probably just going to add a boom sample again and make this pause a bit shorter. Let's just add a second audio track here so we can alternate between these hits a bit. And I think we can also copy these rises uh, over here. Okay, so for now I've come up with this pattern for the second climax. I definitely also want our TikTok sounds there. I'm just gonna make them alternate a bit quicker. Maybe we can also just use our kick here again and just align it with the hits. Actually, maybe do the same with the percussion. And now also just copy our Brahms over. And maybe let's also even add a few new risers for this. So maybe for this one, we're gonna go for another instrument and just create our own with a pitch band. I think I haven't used this horror stuff enough yet, so I'm just gonna go in there. Just try this pad right away. And add a second one for the second half of this. And just copy this one again. Let's just use one of these. Yeah, this could work for the short one. And as a short outro, we can of course use the classic boom signature sound combination. Let's just grab this one from the beginning here. And we could also maybe add this sound again. I'm just gonna do some very quick grouping of this stuff, putting all the rises together and stuff like that. So this one definitely leads a lot more mixing and rearranging stuff, but for roughly one hour, I'm pretty happy with this result. And it was a really nice workflow working with Arcade, easily finding new samples, finding some inspirational stuff. And doing it this way, I think you can build tracks like these really fast. So this one has been really fun and I hope it was helpful for you. And I'm gonna end the video with a full playthrough of the track. Take care.